Hello everybody, welcome into Rock Painting 101. We are working on a fun Halloween themed rock today. So first thing I'm gonna do on any style rock you have, we're just gonna place down an orange or yellowish colored circle. Really, this could be any color you want. We're going for like a glowing, you know, harvest moon or sunset, I don't know, orange. All right, get this on. We're gonna let it start drying while we kind of go over what we're gonna do today. So I have carved this into a pumpkin about a bazillion times in my life. It's like one of my go-to uh, pumpkin carving designs. So I thought, oh my gosh, this would make an awesome rock. Um, we did our haunted house rocks where we did this kind of silhouette on top of the orangish backgrounds. And I love how those look. Um, so I kind of broke this cat down. It's a cat standing in front of the moon and I broke down how we can get it drawn on a rock that I think you'll be able to replicate as a beginner as long as you just kind of watch step by step. So letting my orange dry here, we want to be working with a dry rock and then we'll get started. All right, so we're going to start building our cat on our rock and he's going to look like a stick figure cat. Now, just trust me, unless you're like uber artist, you see this, you're inspired, you can just paint it, go for it. But for those that need to see it broken down, this is the easiest way to build it on your stone um, step by step. So we're going to make like a stick figure cat. So just go with me here, okay? <laughs> so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to give him a front leg and a back leg. So I'm going to try to tilt up here so you can see as I'm going. And you got to think like where his rear is going to be, the bottom of him. All right, and the front of him. Okay, we have to have room for a head in front still, like so. And we want the paws to come down to the bottom of our circle here. Uh, now we're going to give him his arched back, and we're just gonna go from here, arch way up, exaggerate, and then back down. Now from in this area is where his tail is gonna be coming out some way, shape, or form, right? And you can play around with your tail shape I like to have it kind of bounce in and out. And then his head's gonna be here. Now he's facing away, it's like a side profile head. So we're gonna just do a small kind of sideways oval and add an ear point and connect it to the body. Okay, so that's our basic bone areas, I guess you could say, of our cat. And now we're gonna start thickening up these areas and giving him more shape. So his back leg will have that hip bone in there. And then we come down the legs. We have a little paw there, okay. And the front isn't nearly as wide. We'll add those there, add a little paw there on the front. Okay, now his stomach is really gonna kind of stretch up and it will kind of come out just a little bit around that hip bone. And you still have his bottom back here neckline all right now we have to do the other side of the neck and we have to do this kind of create this arch we're going to kind of come up and give them some little fur marks you know they have that furry back when they do that arch you can tell already our head's going to need to just be a little bit bigger but that's what we're just building one area at a time the curve to the tail you can make that whatever thickness you want as you go along can actually make it extra fuzzy too because you know when they're scared their tails get real fuzzy and stick out all right and then we're going to work into this head so this front is going to kind of come under for the jawline we're going to get end up getting quite a bit bigger i think here and then that ear all right now from this spot i want you to just color in what you have so far, you can either use your paint pens or you can use acrylic paints with this. You know, you could be using a liner brush for this. Just fill in what you have so far. Don't get carried away with the outline. Once it's filled in, you're gonna be able to finish up your shape. You can kind of compare the size of your cat all over the place um, to be able to tell if you like how it looks. So just fill a little bit at a time. I'm gonna switch from my 1MR here to at least my 1M. If you only have a 1M, you can do this with that as long as it's kind of a fresher one. The one I have today, it's a little bit worn down, so it's not gonna give me the super fine lines I was looking for. So I'll speed this up while I fill it in.
once you're completely filled in like this, you can really give it a look over and see, do you like how it looks? Does the front leg, like my front leg to me seems just a little bit on the skinny side. So I'm just gonna come back through and add just a little bit more thickness to it. Um, I want the back of my leg to hit the back of my paw. I don't like that little spot sticking out. So just kind of go through. We're gonna give them something to stand on here. So I'm just gonna give a straight line across here like that, okay? So I'm gonna do the same thing here, have his paw disappear into whatever it's standing on. Um, I don't mind that shape there. I think he's a little bit too, I know he's supposed to be thin with that arch back, but I'm gonna kind of give him a little bit more body size there. So just these little slow adding, add really slow because once you've added your black, you can go back with your orange. Don't get me wrong, especially if you're using your paint pen. It's really easy if you overdo it to come back with your orange, but you just go nice and slow and add slowly. Um, sometimes you can get it first try. <laughs> Something's just a little off. And then once you're happy with your design, we're going to outline, and this is where I'm gonna grab my acrylic paint now because it's a lot of filling in. I'm going to fill in the rest of my rock on the top black. So along the edge of my circle and down and around. If you do it like I did there, it's all right. <laughs> you can always go back and fix it. Just get to our orange paint pen. All right, once you've got your silhouette done, you can also come in here and add some really fun little designs. Just kind of, I don't know, rough it up a little bit, I guess you could say, like little, just kind of little hashes. Make sure your ink's running. You know, just kind of, just to add this little design element to it. You can also, um, do a little, a lot of people have been doing these fun little designs and it just kind of gives it a less polished look, which is kind of fun. So I'm going to wait for that to dry, add one more dot and we're finished. So I hope you enjoyed this rock painting uh, tutorial for beginners. Uh, make sure you subscribe to the channel. You can watch all of our videos when they're um, first released ad-free. If you're one of our rock stars, you can join over on patreon.com. And we have a full playlist of Halloween videos um, for you to check out on the page. I'll leave the link to that here right at the end. We'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.